So it turns out the only thing scarier than Condemned Criminal Origins is trying to play it on a new PC. And you'd think that because it's on Steam, it would just work, but it doesn't. So um, I am responding to a user comment who is desperate to play Condemned Criminal Origins on his new PC, but he does not know how to fix this low frame rate. So um, I'm going to go over how to fix the low frame rate and also how to fix uh, some missing sound effects. So uh, go to this website. The link is in the description, the one that I have on screen right now. Um, this is a great site for how to fix all of your games. And um, really, this is just some quick file copying. So um, if you're new to PC gaming, this should be super simple, but I'm going to be here to, to, uh, to uh, hold your hand through it because that's what I'm here for. So uh, if we scroll down on this page, we will get to right here, issues fixed, low frame rate. This is definitely the most important one by far. So you wanna download the direct input FPS fix, which is right here. So you click on that. And then you get to this website and you just go ahead and download the file right there. And you have this little terms you have to agree to, make sure to read them all. <laughs> and then uh, you can download your files right here. And I've already downloaded it, so I'm not gonna continue with that. Um, so once you have that downloaded, uh, it'll come over here and what is this direct input fix? So you can unzip it. Uh, these are the files here. I'm just gonna take them and drag them back into the condemned folder. Um, if you're new to unzipping, you can also right click, extract all, extract, and then it'll make it its own little folder right there. Um, so however you wanna do it is fine with me and I'm gonna delete the original. Um, so all you have to do, you can look in the, in the readme here uh, and it says how to install, extract the file into the folder containing the executi executable, executable of the game. Uh, yeah, so you just drag it into there, super easy. So in order to find the executable for the game, and uh, we're here in Steam, I've already installed it. So here's the, the game right here. You just right click on the game, go down to manage, then browse local files. And so here we can see these are the local files. This is all the, the uh, files for the game. And all you gotta do is go here, take this dinput8.dll and just drag it on. Already has a file like that, replace. There you go, and you're done. Uh, there is one other fix that we're gonna look at here. And now that we've already got that, we'll just keep that right there. Um, missing sound effects in the Steam version. Cause you know, you'd think the Steam version would be perfect, but uh, it's not. So use condemned missing Steam files fix. And uh, this looks like it contains a lot of fixes. So it also has the widescreen fix, so it doesn't just limit it to uh, four by three resolutions. It has all this stuff. It says here, added an option for low frame rate, but like the thing we just did fixes that. So uh, I don't think you have to worry about that stuff, but you can go right here. This is what I downloaded. I downloaded this one right here and I've already done it. So it's over here already. And I can do the same thing. Right click, extract all, extract. And then it'll put it into its own little folder. here and you can go in there and there's the files here and we have some instructions unpack everything to root directory replacing default arc config in the process so essentially going to do the exact same thing as before oh, okay replacing oh great good so that's all fixed so uh, let's go ahead and boot her up. So I'm gonna open Steam again. Cool, so we're gonna go over here to Condemn Criminal Origins and just start it normally. And I always love to do the configure first. I'm, I'm a big configure person. But just remember, your the, the resolutions you want aren't gonna be here. You have to do it in game. And I have two displays, so I'm gonna put on display one. But I'm just gonna put it to the max here. Um, I'm not going to change any of those, but I'm going to go ahead and put it to the max. Launch condemned. Okay. So we have launched. All right. And so what you want to do here, go to options and then display. And your resolution, you want to set it to 3840 by 2160. This is for me because I am playing in 4K. If you have a 1080p monitor, you want it to be 1920 by 1080. 
If you have a 1440p monitor, you want it to be 2560 by 1440. Uh, and if you have a 4K monitor like I do, 3840 by 2160 is gonna be the one. I'm gonna click OK. And look, it fills the screen. How about that? Um, and you can go down here to performance if you want to, you know, totally <laughs> make the game not work at all. I'm not gonna change any of this right now. You can if you want, but it is an old game, so enter at your own risk. But yeah, let's just, I'll just load. So as you can see, we're in widescreen. And even on my 3080 Ti, like it was, the frame rate was chugging like super quick. So uh, you go ahead and just see that the frame rate is staying pretty consistent. And it should, because the game is so old. This should run so perfect. It looked like there was a mod that makes the graphics a little bit better on, on the uh, PC gaming wiki too, but uh, I don't wanna, I don't wanna F with that. Um, there are more fixes on the PC gaming wiki, but this is like the basics to get the game running. And honestly, it runs pretty well. I mean, obviously it's gonna have some crappy textures, but you know, this came out quite a long time ago. So uh, yeah, let me know if this guide worked for you. Uh, if you need any more help, please ask in the comments. Uh, I do respond to comments. And if you have another game that you're trying to get working and you can't on your modern computer, I'm here for you. I've done videos about Silent Hill 2 and Silent Hill 3 on how to get it to work on your PC gaming computer. Uh, and I really like getting things to work. So um, I'm definitely down to go through step-by-step -step how to make any game work. Um, and that PC gaming wiki is such a great resource. Uh, if you're having trouble, that's probably a good place to start. But again, for this game, really, it's just downloading those two files, going into Steam, right-clicking on the game, saying manage, uh, manage, and then browse local files, and just dragging the files into the Condemned Criminal Origins folder. Uh, and make sure if something like Dropbox is open, like I had a bit of a snag because Dropbox was syncing it and it wouldn't move it. So if you're having any issues, check to see if you have like Dropbox open or anything like that. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. Leave a sub if you want to get more videos like this. I also do tech reviews and gaming reviews uh, and the occasional hot take. But um, yeah, I really appreciate you watching. If this was helpful, please leave a like and I will see you next time.